Hello! Before we launch into things, would you like to virtually meet me? Because you can! I am hosting a virtual meet and greet where I will get to spend a little bit of time with each and every one of you. Which is so cool! I get to meet you! It's gonna be really cool! And before that, there will be a live stream Q&A and you will be able to hear my newest single before everybody else. So if you would like to meet me, I would like to meet you. You can get your tickets at melindavip.com. I cannot wait to see all your beautiful, beautiful faces. And now we are going to hear some of your beautiful, beautiful music. Let's go! Let's check out a song that for me really jumped out because of its fantastic pace and this is from Jasmine from Australia and it's called Flowers, so let's take a listen. Flower girls on the veranda Imperfections didn't matter White dresses, nature in our hair And the petals in the sky Beautiful, yes! So this song uses a really, really important tool in songwriting, and that is repetition. Pace and repetition are ways to ground your audience in what you are trying to communicate. And as the great Adam Neely says, repetition legitimizes. Repetition legitimizes. Repetition legitimizes. First we have melodic repetition, which are using uh, sort of building blocks of melodies to build a larger melody. So in this case for the verse, she's got yada, yeah, she's got this sort of like lilty thing, and then yeah, da, da, yeah, da, da. those are the two like main structures that I, as a listener, sort of grab onto and go, oh, okay, so we've got this sort of breathing, lovely feeling that she's creating for us. Repetition creates this sort of bed of comfort that when you divert from it, it's important. So, for example, literally the second line, we've got yeah, da, yeah, da, yeah, da, da. we've already established that half step and then she diverts from it. She uses the line imperfections didn't matter, which is kind of a, a weighty statement. But what she does is she makes us notice the statement by going yeah, da, da, yeah, da, da, da. takes us down a little further. But instead of like dwelling on the fact that imperfections didn't matter is kind of an emotional statement, she creates a run-on sentence. She goes, didn't matter why it dresses, like doesn't even take a breath. She's literally musically echoing the notion of didn't matter, not gonna dwell on it, keep going. That is really good pace, that is really good text painting, that is really good melodic repetition to make me comfortable before giving me something to notice, and then continuing to move. Beautiful. With flowers, I like instantaneously heard old Taylor Swift, like right away. I was like, oh, this is a finish, this is a pop song. This is, this is the piano version of a song that has a more fully realized like, shoot. can't do it, but yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, we know exactly what you mean. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Since we're only doing the first minute of it, I would love to kind of produce this out a little bit more. What do you think? Like guitar, bass, drums, maybe a little electric I mean, guitar? Again, cool. Excellent. Okay. Ooh, that could be cool. Thank you, Jasmine, that was awesome. Let's keep rolling. So for the next song, we're gonna talk about structure and how you don't necessarily need a traditional structure for a song to be good. Let's take a look at a song that doesn't necessarily follow a traditional pop song structure, but instead follows the emotion of what is being said. So this is Show Me by Corinna from Washington State. Let's take a ride, baby. I know you've seen them before. 
So for structure, she's got a verse, a chorus, a verse with some variation, verse B, which is a completely different structure and you could interpret it as a bridge because the pace changes so much, chorus, bridge or second bridge depending on how you look at it, and then a final chorus with a variation. I love that. She did not feel the need to slip in a chorus where she didn't actually need one emotionally. She went with what she was saying. And what I love is that she justifies that choice with the subject matter of the song. I mean, what a great thing to write a song about, that feeling of, of guilt that we all feel at some point with people that we love when we lose touch or um, lose connection in some way and we're trying to make up for it. Like, that's, that's a great thing to write about. It's very intense and it's not comfortable. So a traditional, like, pop song structure where you can kind of predict what might be coming next wouldn't necessarily work in in this context. So I totally love that she made the choice to just embrace that feeling of like, I, I, tell, tell me more, like, blah, 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 I'm making excuses, blah. It's like, whatever you're feeling in that moment is just what comes out as opposed to uh, anything that's particularly linear, which I love. I think that is an excellent choice and a really good example of abandoning what you think should come next in favor of what emotionally just happens to come next. <coughs> Show Me feels like a a stave song to me. Should we keep that sort of <laughs> um, I don't know and I was gonna ask you about that yeah. because if you want to go staves with it I think we can do it if we change the chords. I'll let you I'll let you run with this in that case and then okay. whatever you do I will follow vocally because this totally. song to me is just like begging to be free part harmony in a lot of places. Let's take a ride, baby I wanna get away from home a little while So many things to see I know you've seen them before So show them off to me I wanna get to know you more Show me the sunset you cried to Show me the alleyway you passed out Show me all the things I missed Cause I was in a road I'll pay for gas, baby I'm trying to apologize things to do that doesn't mean I wasn't thinking about you and although We really messed with both of those songs. But what Jasmine and Corinna sent me were so complete as they were that we felt like we could uh, 
really take some liberties with it, which was really exciting. So thank you to Jasmine and Corinna for trusting me with your music. Y'all are so awesome. You're so talented. I just, mm, y'all, y'all out there. Y'all are, mm, mm. Y'all are awesome. Be sure to get your tickets for the Melinda meet and greet at melindavip.com. Be sure to stream my new single, But You'll Do. It is a bop. Thank you so much for the love that y'all have given me on it thus far. And be sure you're following me on all the social media at Miss Melinda Cat. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Mwah.